I'm Charlotte, I live at Terra Frutis, and I'm going to answer some of your questions. So the first question is how many people live at Terra Frutis, and how many of those people are long term? So currently there are, I think, 12 or 13 people here, and 5 of us are long term. The next question is what fruits are available from TF that we grow? So we have an abundance of bananas and lemons and we have a good amount of papaya and jackfruit all that stuff is year round no need to is year round select we get sporadically but it's year round still um, relinia is seasonal but we have quite a bit meringue also we have quite a bit but it's seasonal we also have star fruit and peanut butter fruit. That's the main things that we have producing at the moment. Um, what accommodation options are there? So a lot of people coming here think that they will have to camp, but actually we have quite a bit, quite a few rooms. So if you come here with some bedding and you're volunteering, we can just put you in a room. You don't have to be camping with the scary animals of the Amazon. Um, money. How much does it cost to be here and is there any way to make income? So, like utilities and stuff, you're looking at between 10 and 20 dollars a month, then the rest of it's going to be food and transport. So, you'll probably spend, if you're frugal, like a hundred, hundred and twenty-five dollars a month. But it could be much more if you like to eat, you know, a lot of expensive fruits like cherimoya, sour sauce. So for income opportunities, there are, there's a little bit of um, income to be made here, but not very much. Your best options are online work or teaching English. What is our link to Fruit Haven? Um, I put this on there, we don't get asked it exactly like that, but often people get the two projects confused. So, first there was Terra Frutis, and then like a couple years into that, Fruit Haven started. Fruit Haven is also a vegan, intentional community, well they're an eco-village actually. And they are about an hour away from us, I would say. Uh, it's a, just a very similar project, and we have a lot of events together. And it's beautiful. We, we visit them, they visit us. We also have another community that we are right next to. That is Evolution Eco Village. This is probably the first time they exist online. Or maybe they have an Instagram account. If they do, I'll link it below. Um, but yeah, our, our neighbor is now another intentional community. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm sorry if I'm waving my hands around a lot. All of a sudden, the bugs have found me. So I'll try to be quick. There's only one question left. Ah, it's a, it's a good one. Why do you cut down trees? Isn't the project about regenerative, regenerative agroforestry? We do cut down trees. Yes, um, this land used to be cattle pasture and so when we got it, it was a lot of grass and a few trees, a few pioneer trees, but there were only a few different species of tree here and so we, what we want is diversity and so yes, we are going through and we are cutting down some of those trees to replace them with fruit trees and we are also using that wood to build accommodation for people, a community center, a kitchen. So, you know, that's better than us buying wood and we don't know where it came from. Probably it was, yeah, it was just cut down from primary rainforest and they're not going to replant with trees, so. Yeah, okay, I need to run away from the bugs now, but nice talking to you, bye.